401k, but an IRA can be really helpful too. Not necessarily if you've got an IRA, uh, I guess you could, you could do it this way, but if you have a self-directed IRA, which is basically an IRA where you are acting as the, uh, the hands-on investor, so you're taking the money and you're investing it, and then the returns go back into the IRA. Um, if they have a self-directed IRA, they can invest with you. So let's say they've got a self-directed IRA, they've got $200,000, they can invest with you, and then all the money that they make goes back into their IRA. If you have your own self-directed IRA, you can invest with that money, but all the cash flow from that investment goes back into the IRA. So it's not going like, to feed you on a weekly basis. So the best use, in my opinion, for, for monthly cash flow, the best use of a self-directed IRA is let someone else use theirs to invest with you. They act as your private lender. They give you, you know, $100,000 or whatever it is that you guys negotiate. And then you pay them back and all, all of those returns go back into their IRA, right? And th the goal of doing that would be for them to make more money than if they invested in, say, an index fund or S&P 500 or, you know, whatever it might be. And so they're going to invest with you because they can make 12 to 14% instead of 6 to 7%. All right. So that's just an that's just an option. When you're talking to someone, they say, Well, I don't have money. I've only got money in retirement. And you say, Well, what, what type of retirement mechanism do you use? Is it a 401k? Is it a you know self-directed IRA? Because if it's self-directed, you know, we can have a conversation. 